always knew that special day would come when we'd be able to enjoy one last slice of pie. And my friends, that day has thankfully finally been delivered. The American Pie series is a series that I've never fully dived myself into, except only in the first movie because I've only seen bits and pieces of Two and Wedding. But the first American Pie, which released back in 1999, is one of my favorite high school comedies because despite the raunch factor, it has a lot of characters that are very likable. There's not really anyone to hate, well, except Stifler, but he's one of the best love-hate characters in comedy in the past 10 years or so. But that's what I really liked about the original American Pie because despite all the humiliating moments a comedy and rush that ensue, it still held the heart within those characters and the mission they wanted to complete. And the fact that they were going to do a reunion of all of these characters and the fact that John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg, the Harold and Kumar guys were going to write and direct it, I could not be more ecstatic for that when I heard it for the first time. So American Reunion is as the title says, it's a reunion of all of the classmates that you got to know in the original American Pie trilogy from Great Falls High School and it's them getting ready and coming back home for the high school reunion. But of course, as the original movies happen, a lot of chaos, humiliating moments, and extreme moments of raunch ensue. All of the actors fill in the roles of the characters that they have played in the previous three movies all do a great job because you can really grab that sense of nostalgia from the fact of how well these characters get along with each other and how the relationships with each other had a lot of heart, and they fully convey that in this movie in particular. But as usual, like in all American Pie movies, every scene is stolen by Sean William Scott as Steve Stifler. He's always been one of those characters that you want to hate because of how annoying and over the top that he can be all the time but he also has a very entertaining personality within him because he is that fun dick pretty much and by the way that's a reference in the movie right there so they pretty much sum that well up too but Scott's perfect comedic timing and commitment to the role as we had gotten to know him in the previous three movies could not have been better for this movie as he just had me laughing constantly from nearly every scene he appeared in also my second favorite character in this series Jim's dad played by Eugene Levy pops up in several scenes and he had me cracking up several times too as the parent who says dirty things off and on but there is a scene towards the end where I was just laughing so hard at the predicaments that his character would get into and of course for, as from the trailer as I assume a lot of you know he ends up with someone in particular and it pays off in several very hilarious scenes too. The writing director and duo of John Hurwitz and Hayden Schlossberg I felt were the perfect guys to reboot these series because the Harold and Kumar series was a series of movies that was filled with a lot of raunch but had a lot of heart within the relationship of its lead characters, particularly of course Harold and Kumar, and it really transcends well for this movie because their brand of comedy is perfect to give this movie the reboot that it deserves, and it really pays off in some very hilarious moments of comedy, especially the beginning which had me and the audience just rolling over laughing so hard because they have the ability that not many other comedic filmmakers have to do in which they can take the awkward, humiliating situation and take it one notch further in which you don't really expect it to go in that particular fashion, but the way that they time it and execute it is just comedic gold in my eyes. And it was also a very nostalgic trip for me too because they bring back a lot of the well-known music that you know back from the 90s that was thrown in particular into the American Pie movie, and there was a song in particular that played when all the guys came into their entrance to the reunion, and I wanted to stand up and applaud the filmmakers just for putting that song in the movie because it's one of my favorite songs of the 90s. If you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. Now, as much as I really enjoy this movie, the American Pie brand of humor is definitely not for everyone because there are the fans of the series who are definitely going to enjoy this. However, the people that can't really accept this movie's humor for being overly raunchy all the time and always relishing itself within the awkward situations, you might want to stay away from this movie though. Unless you're a fan of raunchy comedies and haven't really gotten into this series, it would be a good start at least. As for any flaws in the movie though, it does go in those expected directions that you see most of these movies go in, especially from when you can pick out where all these character situations are in the trailer alone. You can of course predict what they're going for, but if you are a fan of this series and like this brand of humor, it definitely won't detract from that experience as a whole, and that's why I'm going to give American Reunion a solid 4 out of 5 stars. So I hope you enjoyed my review of American Reunion. I'll be seeing The Hunger Games tomorrow, but I'm going to have my review up a little bit later because I'll be coming home to my original location because uh, my spring break starts tomorrow. So the review will be up a little bit later than usual, but in the meantime, talk from Kelly Kirk Reviews, and I gotta finish this book right here before I see the movie, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.